Hi, I'm Justin Kay, Field Specialist in Horticulture for University of Missouri Extension. I'm going to give a brief overview of crop rotation basics and vegetable systems. Some of the information in this presentation was pulled from the Crop Rotation on Organic Farms Planning Manual from SARE. We're going to link to this publication in this YouTube video description so you can check it out for further details. Crop rotation is the practice of rotating or moving crops and plant families throughout the field. You're essentially developing a sequence of planting different crops and plant families on the same piece of land. This system can be designed to combat disease, insects and weeds, and improve soil quality and optimize soil nutrients. Crop rotation is an essential part of an integrated pest management program, which relies on preventative principles. Crop rotation can help reduce the carryover of certain insect pests and diseases. It's been shown that planting the same crop in a field year after year can cause a buildup of certain diseases and insect pests. Members of the same plant family can share pests. Some of our common plant families include the solanaceous crops, the brassica crops, the curcubit and kinopod crops, allium crops, and legume crops. For further information on plant families, you can check out the link below that will be in the YouTube video description. Some problems with planting tomatoes or other solanation crops in the same part of the field year after year could include soil-borne pathogens like early blight. Infections in these plants can cause a buildup of disease spores in the soil that can raise the risk of infection in the following tomato crop. It's important to note that early blight can infect other members of the solanaceous family, including eggplants and tomatoes. It's always best to err on the side of caution when designing a crop rotation plant. Growers often try to avoid planting tomatoes or other solanation crops in the same field for a period of three to five years. Use of disease-resistant varieties, field sanitation, and fungicides remain important practices in a production system. When you're planning a crop rotation, consider both the crop and the plant family. Tomatoes, as we stated, are a member of the solanaceous family. Diseases and insect pests can be shared by members of this plant family. Below is just one example of a five-year crop rotation for tomatoes that avoids other solanaceous crops. Cover crops can be an important part of designing and developing a crop rotation plan. It's important to consider the cover crop family in your crop rotation. For example, a cover crop of forage turnips could harbor pests that can affect a subsequent crop of broccoli, both of which are members of the brassica family. Other common cover crop families include poaceae grasses like oats and rye, as well as legumes like winter peas and cow peas. If you have further questions on this topic, feel free to reach out.